What's your worst blackout drunk story? Before we start with the first story, please hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with us. Story 1. Okay, my company will often put me in a hotel for like a year while we do a construction job. Hanging out at the local bar where I'm a regular. Walking distance from my hotel, I would often make friends with the staff and stay and hang out with the staff after closing. Didn't always remember those nights. Well, one morning when I woke up, the last thing I remember was talking to the female bartender and some waitresses as we were drinking after hours. I don't remember going back to the hotel, but I'm completely naked in bed in my room. I find my clothes on the floor. Looks like they were dragged through the mud. I must have aged Sta on the walk back. So I get ready and leave for the work site. Well, all day I keep getting whiffs of a girl's nether regions off the mustache of my beard, but I don't remember having anyone. This keeps bugging me all day. So that night I get back to the bar and the bartender girl is acting weird to me. At the end of the night I ask her what's up and she's like, you don't remember? Apparently we did the dirty on the bar floor and then stumbled back to my place for round two. The rough part is that she was married to this absolute psycho of a gun nut who definitely would have hunted me down and shot me. Thankfully I was done with that project that month and got out of town before it hit the fan. Story two, in university at a club, was making out with a girl and her best friend they were both adventurous and were cool with me making out with both of them. I somehow convinced them that we should all go to one of the girls' places and sleep together. We all got in the cab and I must have blacked out in the cab. I woke up in my bed the next morning and called one of the girls to see what had happened. She said I rolled down the window of the cab and started throwing my possessions out, first my wallet, then my sweater, then my hat, all the while saying, I don't need this crap. She said they both thought it was hilarious. Then we got to an intersection where my house was one way and her house was the other. We were stopped at a red light. I undid my seatbelt, opened the door and sprinted home. They said they were shocked and confused, but also found it hilarious. I got a call the next day from a teacher who had found my wallet. Story 3. Was at a party in college and chugged a pitcher of trash can punch. Went to another party and then finally started walking back to my dorm around 2 a.m. Decided to sit down on a bench in the main quad for a bit. Eventually, I got up and realized I had to puke. I was 20 minus 30 feet from a trash can, but I took one step and just puked bright red liquid all over the pavement. Thankfully, nobody saw me, and I made it to my dorm. In the morning, I remembered the clock on the wall said 5 a.m. at my dorm when I walked in, so I definitely passed out on a bench in the middle of campus for a couple of hours. I was exceptionally stupid and was very lucky I didn't get a public intoxication or get alcohol poisoning. Story 4 I've had a lot of stupid fuzzy memory drunk nights, but I could always at least pull up some vague memories of those. The worst was the night I went to visit a friend at her new house. It was a half an hour walk there, it wasn't a straightforward route, I had to consult the map on my phone a few times. And it took me through a really sketchy area. Me and my friend just had a casual movie night. But we were both pretty heavy drinkers at the time, so we were drinking hard liquor straight out of the bottle the whole time. I remember being halfway through the third movie of the night. And the next thing I knew, I woke up in my bed the next morning. Zero memory of anything in between that. I don't remember leaving, walking home. I don't know how I found my way home through a shady part of town. It's the only time I've truly blacked out and it scared the crap out of me. I didn't stop drinking, but I stopped drinking straight hard liquor after that. Story 5. Many moons ago, I recall being at a bar. I put my drink down next to a friend of mine, took a leak, and then came back and finished it. Cue the next eight hours being missing. I used to have sort of drunk flashbacks, but I don't think it was alcohol. Anyway, I woke up on my friend's bathroom floor with a towel as a pillow in my underwear. No memory of how I got there. I found like $300 in my wallet that I did not have when I went out. Nothing from my account. There's photos of me having a great time, a couple bars, strip club group photos, but no memory. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I was drugged. Story 6. I regained consciousness in a strange hotel room with a strange woman I didn't know having me loudly in Spanish and other people having in the other bed and on the floor. I had a burrito in one hand and a milkshake in the other. I didn't know how I got those either. When she was done with me, I quietly slipped out of the room and enjoyed my strange meal on the walk home. To this day, I have no recollection of who that was or how I ended up there. Side note. She was at least twice my age. Story 7. In 2010, I had only 10 bucks, which was enough for cover at a Halloween EDM show at a local bar. I had no money for beer. 
Everyone was in masks, costumes, and it was over capacity, so packed shoulder to shoulder. Well, I started dancing and just started subtly swiping beers off tables and ledges. I got drunk as shit, but it was strange because I only had six half beers at most. I think I got drugged. Well, all. My last memory that night is leaving early because I was too drunk. Um, according to my phone, I called a cab at 1, 3 euro a.m. I can remember waiting for the cab but can't remember getting in. My next memory is waking up in bed like normal and a little hungover. When I went into the kitchen, my mom asked if I remember last night. I said no. She told me I wandered into her room at 3.00 a.m. and started pissing on her easy chair. She said she asked me, what are you doing? To which I said, I'm pissing. What does it look like I'm doing? I asked her why she wasn't freaking out on me or angry at me while I was pissing. And she said she knew I was sleepwalking and didn't want to freak me out. She's right on. But the real creepy part for me is that a kitchen knife was on my keyboard and according to my internet history, I searched for big boobs on Google and wound up at a breastfeeding. Latch video. Story 8. Woke up in a hotel room with quite a bit of blood on me. Confused AF, but recognized the other people. Went out on the balcony to smoke a cigarette and saw blood drops there too. Blood on the rails of the balcony. Blood on the palm tree just feet away from the balcony. I definitely climbed that tree and jumped across like a ninja. I don't know why though. At some point that night, I got separated from my group. Who knows what happened between separation and me waking up. Story 9. New Year's Eve, 1989. Went to a party, got super mega fucked up drunk so my brother and friends took me home and poured me into bed. Woke up the next morning with no sheets or blankets on my bed. And my brother, whom I shared a room with, nowhere to be seen. I also had the absolute worst headache that I have ever felt in my life. My bro eventually poked his head in so I said, what the fuck happened? He told me that I started bazooka barfing all over the room in the middle of the night. I threw up all over his bed, my bed, the floor, etc. I had no memory of any of this whatsoever and still don't to this day. My parents dragged me into the bathroom and literally hung me over the edge of the bathtub so I could continue barfing into the tub while they cleaned up the mess in the bedroom. The next morning, my mom, dad and brother all went to a family function and left me home because I was too hungover to go anywhere. I spent the entire day dry heaving and waiting for the splitting headache to go away. Story 10. Can't say I have bad blackout stories because I'm normally a fun drunk. But I can tell you that I've managed to talk my driver out of a ticket while blacked out drunk. Been personally chauffeured by policemen to the house that I was renting because it was fall start of winter and it was cold out. Managed to walk across Louisiana, from Baldwin Hills to Santa Monica, barefoot on account of being drunk and intoxicated. Not to mention the countless times from my post-high school teenage years where I would get absolutely blasted at parties and wake up in the serene tranquility of my bed not knowing how I got there. Of all my experiences with alcohol, I think that last one was the most disturbing. You'd think that after a night of bad decisions you would wake up with a raging hangover and feeling miserable. But no, it would almost feel cinematic how I'd wake up. A somber mood with white surroundings, hazy feeling and memories not a sound in the world except for the calmness of my room. NGL, on more than a handful of those occasions I woke up wondering if this is the afterlife felt like. Now, if you ever want to hear about my entertaining night out drinking stories, pull up a bar stool and let me tell you. Story 11. Halloween party. I'm at the bar I'm working at with some friends and colleagues. There was a party bus taking us to each of our three locations in the city. The bus arrived so me and two friends decided to finish my friend's drink fast she had a gin and tonic. I was like three drinks into my night. I arrived at the second location way too drunk so I got a beer can. Then I just remember going into the third location and waking up in my bed with some food I ordered. Someone had put something in her drink and all three of us passed out. That's the most messed up feeling. It's horrible. Not remembering one thing you did. I didn't even know how I got back home. Story 12. Well, my first time having whiskey was on a night they were welcoming me to the holler. A few of them went hunting while me and others went fishing and set up camp. We shot guns off at stumps and fished most of the night. Then the whiskey came out. We were cooking up some bratwurst over the fire as well so we added some grease. I was so hammered I apparently tried to go head first into the fire to throw up said food. They said at some point I had to pee and they had to hold me up and I still somehow managed to pee on the person that was holding my boots who was behind me. They said after that I just blacked out and they allowed me to plop over. 
I woke up the next morning bare feet in the water we were fishing in while they were tented up. I am so glad nothing came out and got me, as we have wild cats and coyotes around here. Story 13. My boss was actually the blackout drunk. He called the office one morning when he woke up in the morning on his couch, showered, got dressed and went outside to drive to work, and his car wasn't there. Then he realized he had been out drinking with his buddies the night before, got too drunk to drive and started riding with his buddies. He called his buddies, but they were just as wasted as he was, and didn't remember which bar he left his car at. He never made it to the office that day. It took him three days to find his car. It was parked in the lot at a bar that neither he nor his buddies remembered being at. Story 14 Was out drinking with my dad and my brother, and was unthinkingly matching them drink for drink. I'm a woman, and was smaller and thinner than they were. The last thing I remember was being hauled to the bathroom to puke. I assume I puked. The next thing I remember was waking up sometime later in the back of my dad's pickup truck. I guess they just threw me in there to sleep it off till I sobered up enough to get out on my own. I think my mom went over there and drove everyone back, in case anyone here is concerned. Um, at least I hope that's what happened lol. I guess I had been in the bed of the truck for some time because my mom came out to check on me. My grandparents, who were living with my parents at the time, were furious. I was old enough to ostensibly take care of myself, late 20s, so I thought they were out of line for being mad, and I blamed myself, but as I get older, I'm a little miffed at my dad for that evening and how it all ended up. Story 15. I've only ever blacked out once, and it was a really long time ago. I went out to a local club by myself. Before going into the club, I bought three of the Cheech's Long Island iced teas. I drank all three once I arrived at the club. After that I went inside and got a Long Island iced tea. Less than an hour later I got another one, then I got a sour beer, and then I got a hurricane, five super high ABV cocktails, and a sour beer. I vaguely remember passing out for a second. After I got back up I walked out of the club into my car. I vaguely remember throwing up. And then the next thing I remember is waking up at 7 the next morning. I didn't drink for months after that and since then have been much, much more careful with how much I drink. All right, folks, that's a wrap. If you like more of this, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also share your thoughts in the comment below. I'll see you in the next video.